welcome back to my channel. The first thing I'm going to do is prime with this Nivea Men Post Balm Shave, which contains glycerin, which makes it perfect for a primer. Then taking this NYX Green Concealer to pinpoint any blemishes that I have just to really conceal them. And to blend it out, I'm going to use this 3D HD Precision Brush by Sigma. Then taking L'Oreal True Match in W4 and W2, I'm just going to mix them to make W3 basically because that is my shade and I'm going to take that on a Sigma foundation brush and start applying it all over my face and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to blend it all out with a damp beauty blender. Using a beauty blender really helps to just make it look not really cakey and it picks up all the extra product which really makes it great. Then taking the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in Ivory, I'm going to put that in all the places I either want to conceal or highlight. This is includes all the places I put it, plus my forehead and my chin. Um, then I blend it all out, and then underneath my eyes. And this is these are the parts that I really like to go over because I really like to make sure it's all blended out. Because you do want a perfect base. Then taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, I'm going to take the Pro Contour 79 brush by Sephora and just set my under eyes. Then taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Medium Bisque, I'm just going to kind of try to cream contour. This is my first time trying to do it this way with these products. And let me tell you, I absolutely hated it. So I just kind of blend that out and I feel like it's completely pointless, but whatever. I just did it, wanted to include it in the video because that was on my face. Then taking the NYX Set It Don't Fret It Powder in Light Medium, I'm just going to really powder my whole face to set everything. Um, and then I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. So to start out, I'm going to take Wanderer from the Tartlet Palette on this No Name Big Fluffy Brush, and I'm just going to start blending this into the crease. This is going to be the highest color. Then taking the Havana Contour Shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to take that on an E35 by Sigma and start blending that lower, and then going back to that brush we had before and really blending that out. Then taking the Fringe Color from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm going to take that on an E38 by Sigma, and I'm just going to start putting that in the outer corner. Then taking Gonzo and Chaos, I'm going to start putting those into the same spot using a Sigma E32 brush. And then I'm going to take that 38 again and just blend that all out. Then this is actually when I take Chaos and just they I put that lower so it doesn't go up into the crease, just so we get that fade. Then taking Wander and I believe it's Dreamer, Wander and Dreamer, I'm just going to put that in the inner portion of my eye on my lid. Then when I have that all blended out, I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and just run that along my lower lash line and then kind of, kind of, kind of blend that out. Then on another brush, I forget what this brush is called, I'm going to take Gonzo again and then blend that out using another brush using Wanderer from the Tartlet Palette. Then lastly, taking a little smudge E21 brush, I'm going to add a little bit of the Chaos color. Then taking the MAC Pigment in Vanilla, I'm going to put that all over the lid. Um, I just really like the effect it gave, and because it is brown underneath, it looks a lot, and it looks really good. Then taking Super Mom by, in the Tartlet Palette, I'm just going to highlight, and then I'm going to take the Jumble Eye Pencil again, and just make these little tribal marks, I don't know, I feel like it needed something else. Um, then I'm going to add liquid liner, not on camera, and that is the finished eye look. Moving on to the face, I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Shade in Fawn and just start applying that to the hollows of my cheek and my forehead a little bit using a BH Cosmetics um, angled brush and I really like this because it's synthetic and it really blends everything out nicely. Then taking all three of the contour shades, I'm going to take it on a Sigma F30 and start pressing it into like the sides where my hairline is just so it all blends together nicely. I'm going to take that by my chin too, just so everything matches. Then taking the NYX Banana Powder on that same Pro Contour brush by Sigma, I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes a little bit further. And then taking Becca's Moonstone Highlighter, I'm just going to take that with a Real Techniques Under Eye Setting brush. I'm just going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones and the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Then taking this blush by... Who's this by... Sony Kashuk, I'm going to just apply that with a Sigma F40 on my cheeks. I'll have the blush name in the description box. I don't remember it, what exactly it is. Then I'm going to carve out my contour just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this ColourPop color. I believe it's midi. Yeah, and midi. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. I'm really going to take my time with this just because I don't, I didn't apply a lip liner. Just because I didn't feel like I really had to with this color. Then taking Max Pigment again, I just had to do this because it just ties everything together. I'm going to apply it to the center of my lips. It really just gives it dimension, like it really just makes it look girly, and in the light it just really looks reflectant and really, really pretty. 
So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe and check out my Instagram and other social medias.